What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And um, yep, I'm just waiting for my friend Martin. He's going to be joining me today at um, these fields. We've got 19 acre field here which has been ploughed. 36 down the bottom, another 10 which has got sugar beet just come off. And we're also going to do some pasture which is probably about 3-4 acres no one's ever dug on. So high hopes for today. Hopefully we'll get something nice. Join you on the first. Right, Martin's over there. He's had a th three coins or something. I've just had one out of this hole here. And it's, uh, look at the condition of this. A lovely coin there. Condition of that. And the date is, can we see the date? Not really, that needs a bit of cleaning up. That's nice. Condition of that. Nice penny. Cracking. I've had three coins now. So, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Moving on. See here, guys. That's the next target. Look at the size of that whole padlock. Quite deep down, but God, that blew my ears off. Yep, I don't think anyone's detected this, ever. Okay, we're on to the next hole, and we have a coin here. Condition of these coins is magnificent. 1867. That'd be Queen Victoria. Look at the condition of that. Unreal. It's nice. 1867. Get in. In time in a month, guys, I thought I found gold. Look at that bad boy. God, honestly thought that was gold again. Dickhead. Anyway, moving on. Okay, we've changed uh, fields now. Had a few coins off the other pasture. And into the medieval field. And straight away I found this weight here with a hole in the top, lead weight. Got some age to it. I've had plenty of lead weights, but never like this. So uh, that's a nice find. Let's get some more. Right, that's the next find to come up. Hi guys, got an unusual one now. Got another lead find. It's this lead piece here, which has a cross on it. There's a cross on there, and on the back is that. Wish it was complete, but yeah, nice find. If you know what it is, please comment below. Right on to the next, and we have another coin. Just come out of the ground. Oh, it's a two shilling. Two shilling. Dated. 1950. Spot on. One a little bit older than that though. All right, on to the next. All right guys, this one was reading at 30. Thought it was a hammered, gave the same signal as a hammered. We have a lovely old button. It's got little dimple things on it, so uh, not sure off the age of that. Another different button again. Just keep on getting these buttons, guys. All right, see you on the next. Next find, guys, is a pistol ball. Every single time we go out, get pistol balls. Got a good collection now. Okay, 
Join me on the next. All right, next up in this hole we have another unusual one. It's um, gave it a reading of 28 on deep zone, and we have it's like lead. There's all crosses and markings on it. Very unusual. Obviously, bits broken off. So um, yeah, I don't know what that could be. Definitely old. It's got writing on there, so we'll clean it up. Let's see what we've got. You can see the X and some other writing. Yeah, that's interesting. Guys, next hole we have a cut half coin, and I'm not sure if that is a hammered. Or could it be a Roman? I can see some detail on there. I'm going to say Roman. But why would you cut it in half? Um, yeah, it's unusual. It's definitely not a button. You can see some markings on there. What do you think, guys? That's that side. I don't know, we'll clean up and see what we got. Here was reading in at 78 and it came from down there and we have a coin here. Don't know what that one is. That is unusual. Or is it a button? I think it's a button guys. Look at that. Looks so much like an old coin. And on the back, yeah, button. Alright, moving on. Up guys is definitely a coin this time. God that last one looked like an old penny. But yes, we've got a coin here. Looks like we've got an old farthing. Yeah, there's King Georgia can just about see yet. Yeah. yeah, that's nice, nice little farthing. There we are. Nineteen something, nineteen eleven or something like that. Our right, next hole, guys, is look like a musket ball. As heavy as a musket ball. When you turn it over, is that? Am I being stupid or has that come off the mould or something? Came off like that. But yeah, that's heavy, like a musket ball. But why would you have a bit on the top? I've never seen them like that. Any ideas what that could be, guys? If it's not a musket ball? Okay, we have another unusual lead sort of piece. This thing here, it's got loads of um, patterns on and writing or something. So uh, yeah, I don't know what they clean it up. And also see what that is. Unusual. Got some age to it, and I've just dropped it. All right, moving on. All right, we're on to the next hole, and we've got this lovely little thing here. Don't think it's a button. A little detail on that. That is very, very nice. Whatever it is, it's not a button. Yeah, I'll clean up and we'll see. That's got some age to it and that looks really nice. Pleased with that. Right guys, you see here we've got another another find. It looks like a button, but I don't think it is. There's no shank on it. Or well, maybe the shank on there. But yeah, that's an old one. Smashing these buttons today, guys. All right, on to the next. Guys, this next one is a really, really scratchy um, signal. And um, it's pretty far down, probably going on a foot. And I was umming and on whether to dig it, but I'm glad I did because it came out this lovely piece. Look at the pattern on that. Whatever it is, 
already old again. It's got some age to it. That's unusual. Obviously not complete. But yeah, that's nice. So if you can date that or know what it is, please comment below. See you on the next. Hey guys, another unusual bit. We have a piece of lead with a big cross on it. Try and focus in on this. Yeah, you can see that guys. Big bit, piece of lead, cross on it. Love finding bits like this, you just never know what they are. Well, that's old. Very old. Alright. Let's go and find some more. Well, these are Martin's finds. There's a little jet in your head. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Jetting as well. It's a small one. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, it's alright. Get it cleaned up and see what it is. Yeah, I'll it. Right, guys, quick recap um, 2019, the first hunt. And these are the little finds we had. Some usual ones today. So we'll start at the bottom. See all the different types of uh, buttons we've had. Some nice ones there. That's an unusual one. Where is it? That one there. That's a pearl button, which is unusual. We've got a mother of pearl one. Go over there. We've got um, part of the crotal bell fitting. That's a piece of lead with some inscription on it. Maybe a book clasp. Bullets. Musket ball, medieval weight, in the key, medieval people. Right, guys, do you know what this is? You probably won't. It's called silky, seamless quality, best quality. And underneath that is an air vent thing. Found out. Bit of oh, that's nasty. That's for condoms, old condoms, early 1900s. So yeah, found that in the church field. So what on earth were they doing? Condom tin. That's first for me. Right, then we had... Well, I'm not, not going to go into them, but yeah. That really nice piece there. That, I reckon, is one of them. And we get that checked out by our local flow. Then we have the Pilgrim's Ampula, which is my first. Fantastic. Buckle. Another buckle there. 1600s. And then the coins that we've been through already. And then the cut half in the end. Couldn't identify. So, yeah, brilliant hunt that one. First of 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on the next video.